and Margaret having to see it usually makes a noise when it's on um, video. Anyway, I'm sitting here, it's late in the afternoon, and um, you know, I still <laughs> feel the same way, feel really bad from the chemicals and stuff and the web and moved around. Um, the reason I'm responding this afternoon, I put quite a few up this morning videos, and I really didn't feel like it, but I felt I needed to do it. Um, I went to sleep, then finally, uh, about an hour and a half ago, and rested some. Uh, anyway, I wanted to, I was thinking about this. When I started doing the book, I had no idea. Uh, I knew, I've been told, and I look back, and I did know. I remember saying things that I had to have subconsciously known who my mom and dad are. King Edward VIII and Claudia Ruth O'Keefe Windsor. I remember uh, being in her arms and at Georgia's Ghost Ranch out in um, Abiquiu, New Mexico, near Santa Fe, and uh, my mom crying to Georgia um, is something about having to hide my diaper so nobody would know I was there. But my mom's saying, but I have to take her back because they're going to come after her anyway. And it, my, I remember my mom saying they're trying to kill her. Um, anyway, I was doing the book, and it was about chipping people, putting chips in people. And... Um, I'll go on and on because there's lists and lists and the press is controlled and all this. Always has been back before 36. So they are really the criminals in all this. The, uh, the press. They've lied. They've deleted. But they've kept their jobs. And that's what's been so important in all this. The people would do things when they thought that they would not have to pay for their crimes. They were illegal. But they would do them because they thought they'd get away with it, and there was no repercussion. But here is, I, you know, I've been told, and, and I'm not going to say anything because I'm not sure. What I've put up is true, and I know it to be. But I wonder, um, my part in all this, because my dad would not, go along with the, what's the global government, the Illuminati, your mafia, your Freemason, that was predicted in the Bible. You could check it out. Um, and a lot of you know what I'm saying, but I'm talking to those that make their little remarks. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, um, my father, honest, decent, Married to my mom, all of this lies to take him down, and then kidnap me because that posed a problem for them. He brought my dad back. He had pa uh, papers uh, drawn that were legal, and uh, brought me back. He was my power of attorney and guardian. So that's when George he had made him let the. Uh, Illuminati make him king. <laughs> wow. And uh, so he went after my dad, of course. He didn't want his brother back. He didn't want me back. He wanted Elizabeth there. And there's something about the cup that there was a fight over the cup, and somebody in Australia remembered it. And she was elderly, and she remembered the incident. And I, uh, I wasn't the one that brought that up. It was told to me. So I was kidnapped, and he helped in it, the Illuminati, Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers, the Kennedys, Joe Kennedy, was specifically put there to take down my father, because he wasn't going to go along with him, with them. And then Jeff K., his son, helped kidnap me. Well, he did too, but anyway, uh, Jeff K. actually helped in getting me back over here to Moulton, Alabama, and the twins that were dead. Uh, Peggy was killed just a week or two before I was put there, so her death was planned by some other people that I'm talking about. Now, Carl 
the twin uh, was killed about a month after birth, and they're a year older than me, so the mother killed them. Then the then uh, they had her. I guess they had heard that she would face the death penalty for killing Carl. So the family was poor as poor could be, but they were cruel, mean, uh, sick. Well, that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, if I can even think right now, I had to turn some heat on. It's so cold in here, and I turned it on, and it's when it pours out all the crap, and makes me sick. And that they're still down here, I think, fixing the toilets. So <laughs> I don't know how many was supposed to be clogged, uh, but you can. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything else about that because it'll either prove me true, and then what? Uh, cause I know the comment that was made, maybe more than one. Uh, but I guess what I'm trying to say is now then Clyde Lewis that has coast, uh, not coast to coast, has, um, ground zero. I will give him credit for this. I mean, his producer was a friend on my Facebook, so they had access to mine. And I'm not saying they didn't come about some of this on their own. The thing is, they're not going to tell about me unless they have to, because it would tell about what's been done to my dad, to my mom. My dad never married Wallace Simpson. Uh, she married an imposter, and you get Roosevelt, you get so many people involved, Eisenhower, Truman, JFK, um, all these people get involved, and it's really bizarre how they fit together, and um, what do you think would happen if uh, people are tearing down Robert E. Lee up here in Charlottesville, and not, they're fixing to tear down on Stone Mountain, and that's where they might meet some opposition. I'm saying that because there's some things people don't know about Stone Mountain, whether it has anything to do with racial or what they think's racial, the the war that was on in Robert E. Lee, the Confederate War, rebel flag and all that. There's some things I'm told that they're about to go in and tear down there. They may meet with some other opposition. I don't know anything about it, but there's some more people involved in this, but their concern wouldn't be about the Confederate flag. Their concern is something else about Stone Mountain, and you can find it out for yourself. I'm not going to tell anybody anything else. I, you know, I've told it what I know because it's true. I've lived it. But anyway, um, and to the nice people, I appreciate it. To the rest of them, feathers. <laughs> That's my word, feathers. That's my by word. You can believe it or not, it'll come true, I hope. I don't see who could have put it together. I really don't. And it's in the Bible. And to tell you the truth, when I started uh, doing the book in 76, you know, I never knew it was... Uh, I wasn't that Bible savvy. So I sure the heck didn't get mine out of the Bible. Um, I believe in God, but then... I don't know. People might be shocked, and that's all I'm going to say. There, um, I was going to say something else. Excuse me. I, I guess I always do, but I wouldn't. I went to sleep and I wake up and I, I got an electric blanket I could use a new one that <laughs> some beautiful, nice people donated give me. But <laughs> for some reason, I hate to unfold it. Because I know I gotta leave here, so I mean I gotta get a place to go though first, and I just hate to use it. I want to save it till I get to where I'm going, I suppose. But back to this, uh, if I can get back to it, because it, it it really bought, has gotten me as sick as I've been, and getting away from it. There's I could go to the hospital. I, I've taken care of myself against all odds, so I'm. I've still got it up here. I hope I keep it. But going to the hospital isn't going to do me any good. It's I have to get away from it, which means it has to be stopped being done to me. The mechanism they're using, and the thing in all this is a long time ago, and this is part of J Jeff K., Martin Luther King, who was civil rights. What big of civil rights, uh, uh, civil rights, 
what am I trying to say? I, I guess the stuff is <laughs> it's right there, and I've got something trying to shield me from where the heat's coming out and the smells. Well, it's so full of mold and mildew, it's sickening, but, but that's not all that's <laughs> coming out of it. Okay, I forgot now where I was going, so maybe I just better get off. Um, there's something else I wanted to say, though, before I got... I did want to raise this to uh, people. I didn't know about the Illuminati. It was them that kidnapped me. I didn't have a name for it when I started doing the book. In fact, I couldn't have verbally told you I'd been kidnapped. It was um, writing the book and going on and on, finding out. And, you know, maybe some of the Bible people can tell me. The global government that I wrote about, the Illuminati that kidnapped me, took down my father, a beautiful man in history, is leaving him a lie, tainted him. Oh, my mom has been deleted. Me, my name taken, given a name of another person. My sons, Mark and Scott, God knows I pray they're okay. They're heirs after me. We didn't commit the crimes. In fact, I'm one of the most good-hearted souls that you would ever meet. Too kind and too caring. And somebody will come back and say, well, you can't be too caring because there's always a comeback, a pro and a con or, you know. But um, where do I fit in? I mean, I know where I've been told, and don't come back and ask me to say, because I'm not going to. It either comes to be or it doesn't. <laughs> so I know where people going to go with this one, some people. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, where's Elizabeth fit in? She's not the real monarch. She's a part of the Illuminati, the global government that God talks about that takes over and they're in power now. And she even came through here when I was up on the mountain up here on the Appalachian Trail, starving, and I'd froze that winter. When the when I'm telling about, well, it's when Virginia Tech happened, the shooting, the mass shooting there. 32 died, uh, well, 33. The young man from South Korea, the student, shot himself because he was programmed to, like programming to shoot the rest of them. So the motive wasn't with him, it was with the programmers. But I've been telling this, now Channel 7 up here will not tell anything about it, none of them will. Uh, but they'll go and say that it's important that the drug, uh, that's what is important to this, con to this uh, valley here, Roanoke Valley. Uh, it was almost an insult to me what they said this morning. I took it as an insult, and it is. Uh, I don't know what's more important than telling about mind control used as a weapon. And then, I don't know, maybe these people up there that are telling the news, but this one had been on here as long as I've been in Roanoke, or, well, almost as long. So she has to know her and her husband. So I thought, well, thank you, dear, the life I've lived and what I've been telling you about. Um, now, if I can get it together here, uh, if it doesn't go off, I've had to upload three that somehow said I duplicated, so that's how I feel today, I guess. And I wasted some time, but I guess that's all I have right at the moment. I wish I could get out here and <laughs> feel better, because it'd be a lift, uh, such a difference in me to be able to get fresh air and, and breathe it and not intermittently getting gushed with. So anyway... I have to get away from it, and so far I haven't gotten away from it, have I? And I sure have tried. So maybe people should have act, uh, asked more about the technology used in what's going on here. But anyway, uh, anyway, I use that a lot trying to go. Um, I guess it was that. Well, Elizabeth went through here, and with all her jewels and everything, or mine. <laughs> And she goes through here, and I'm on the mountain, and the murders have been hap have just happened in the shootings at Virginia Tech. Now, she hasn't told anything about this. She's part of the people doing it. She went on up to Virginia, and she spoke before the senators and all that, and then she went on up uh, and she <laughs> to a banquet given to her in D.C. Uh, and wait, uh, um, 
on this one. She went on up to and spoke before the United Nations, the global government that helped take down Great Britain, the British, went after me, used me and my father, and she was honored. And you know what? Now, I won't, I won't say anything else. I just wonder where she fits into all this. I know where I'm supposed to fit into it, but I don't know if it's true or not. And I'm not going to go any further. And I know there'll be a lot. I probably shouldn't have put it up. But I do know that what's going on here is, uh, well, I guess we'll find out uh, pretty soon, maybe before Christmas. I don't know. I hope so, because I sure wish I um, had a place to live that I could count on being there tomorrow and put my clothes in a closet and not be afraid somebody was going to come in and take it. And my children, most of all, that I could, that they're well, and I could have my children.